Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to sort of a update on the channel and how things are going for me and all that sort of good stuff. I'm not going to do a sort of deep dive into the analytics uh, this time around. It's more, I wanted to talk to you about sort of a change in mindset that I've had on YouTube and all that sort of good stuff. So we'll sort of take you briefly through. So as you can see, this is my entirety of my channel. I've just broken the $20,000 of estimated revenue so that's ad revenue from my channel in its in its history. Um, bearing in mind this channel is now two and a half years old. So for people wanting to become those rich YouTubers, um, yeah, 20,000 sounds a lot. But then if you talk about two and a half years of more than full-time work, yeah, prob yeah, yeah, it's not even minimum wage, is it? I don't think <laughs> it's not even close. Um, but like, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Uh, it, for, for a little channel like me, it's exceptional. And I thank everyone that, sits through all those fucking boring ads and stuff like that um or has youtube premium or whatever this was this is more of a change that's happened to me in the last couple of months so as you guys know um i've been sort of professional i've, ne I've never been professional that's hence the inverted commas i've been full time there we go on youtube for the sort of last year and a bit sort of thing making enough money um that it pays all my bills and all that sort of stuff and in the last six months, it's my mind, or just the last few months, probably my mindset has changed quite drastically. Um, and and this is mainly thanks to aforementioned ad watchers and stuff, but also Patreon. Without the Patreon, it would be a different ball game, and I'll explain why in a minute. But when I first started, and for the first sort of almost two years, pretty much of doing YouTube, I would be constantly looking at analytics, constantly looking at ways to improve my watch time or um, videos that would really get viewers and stuff like that. I've always had the, the mindset of if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. But, you know, sometimes I'll sort of, so I'll, I'll never make content that's just aimed at getting views, right? That's just not how I roll. But I've also always kept a really close eye on how my videos were performing. I've got an Excel spreadsheet where I've got a bunch of, fm youtubers um and how many and each month i'd update it with how many subs they got how many subs i've got what, what can i do to improve my growth and stuff like that and i think that was massively helpful in getting to my channel to where it is and and that i think that was really really useful it sort of gives you targets it it, it forces you to improve and it forces you to see what other people are doing and all that sort of stuff but now i've got to the stage and this is where i've got to say thank you to everyone that supports me on patreon because i've got to the stage where i'm not rich by any means but i'm making an okay wage with the ad revenue and the patreon combined and the twitch and subs and donations and stuff like that where i'm making enough money that i can pay my mortgage feed the animals and also put a bit of money towards saving to buy a house and I'm not I don't I don't care about being rich person. I don't care about having lots of money. It's this that's never been about this thing like I as as you know I want to buy a tiny little house on a nice little bit of land and look after old dogs as a retirement home to give them a nice place for a rescue older rescue dogs until they go and and for that I don't need masses of money. I don't care about cars and big houses and shiny things and stuff like this. So now I've got to this point where I'm making a decent uh, bit of ad revenue and my and Patreon is doing just bonkersly, just bonkersly well. Um, that I don't, I'm, I don't care about growth on YouTube. And I, of course I want to grow. I'm not saying I, I'm just happy to sit at 35,000 subscribers forever, but I'm not checking it. I don't check it on a daily basis. I don't even check my sub growth on a weekly basis. I kind of just want to keep the people that are there the 35,000 people entertained and if that if that just gets more people in as well that's great but i'm not going to feel like oh no i need to do an experiment video cuz if i wanted to grow you'd see an experiment video from me every week they are probably the best way to grow they're individual videos you can do fun silly stuff you've probably seen them everywhere they're repeated on so many different channels like, what if every team had a billion? What if every team had half a billion? What if every team had two billion? What if every team had three billion? What if every team was bankrupt? What if every team... Yeah, you know, you get the idea, right? And I know a lot of people enjoy them, but lots 
other channels are doing them and they're not that interesting. They're, they're, they're interesting for me to do as a one-off, but there's no point in me doing a what if every team had one billion pounds next FM19 because it would it's probably going to have the same result as FM18's what if every team had one billion pounds. And it basically having this mindset where I'm not checking my analytics every day, I'm just enjoying making the videos that I'm making. I'm playing the games that I want to play. I'm not desperate for money. I don't, you know, as long as I can pay the bills and, and save towards this house, then that is that is fantastic. I'm, I think... I think it's a really healthy mindset to be in that, you know, like I can continue my Battletech series despite the fact nobody's really watching it because I love it. And if you look at my channel now, in terms of for, for growth, it's not ideal, right? Like it's, it's really not my, my YouTube growth is, is if I was looking to grow, this is not how to do it, guys. You, what, cause what's happening here at the moment, we we're at episode 162 of one series, that's not going to bring in any new people. Nobody's going to say, oh, that guy's got a... I've not seen that guy before, but I'm, I fancy watching that episode 163 of The Journeyman. <laughs> and also, Altrincham's up to episode 95. So, these long series actually don't really inspire massive growth. You know, it's good to have a good series on your channel, but when you're getting up to 100-odd episodes, it's... Most people aren't going to go, I'm going to watch this series from episode one. You know, there are some, but... If I wanted to grow faster, I'd be, I'd be doing much shorter series, pumping out little fun series that end after 20 episodes so I can hit the next demographic, so I can choose a new club to do it, to get new subs. And I think I'm really enjoying it. That I'm, I'm not caring about that. The only people I'm trying to impress and in trying to make good content is for my subscriber base. Or the guys that already do it. So I know that, you know, you guys enjoy the journeyman and you're loving the old Chingham save and stuff like that. And so that's, and that's what I'm enjoying. So it's, it's really nice to be in this sort of place. And you have that when you're trying to grow and stuff like, I think it's, it's good to do that early on. I think when you're first starting out is to maybe find 10 channels that do very similar, whatever it is you do, 10 channels to, bounce sort of look at and go okay how are they growing why am i growing slower or faster what can i do to improve and all that good stuff i think that's vitally important but being at this point where because the trouble with that is that you'll go to the you'll go to your day let's say you're getting 20 subs a day on average and then you have three five days or a week where you only get five subs a day you're like shit what what's going on okay what's changed in my content did i make a crap video did i do blah 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 now, I don't, this is the first time I've checked this in about th two weeks, I think. Um, and I'm not saying this is bad growth. I'm, I'm quite happy with 444. I know it's nowhere near as good as some other channels, but I don't give a shit anymore. It's lovely. It's, it's, it takes a weight off my mind. Just um, I've got to the stage where I can just make videos, the videos that I want for fun, for my subscriber bonus people. And if, if other new people join in, that's fantastic. Get involved in the community, but I don't have to worry about it. And that, I think, for me, is has been quite a nice sort of weight off my mind because it does stress you out. M imagine if you're a YouTuber and you get a thousand subs in February and a thousand subs in March and a thousand subs in April, and then you get two hundred subs in May. You're gonna you're gonna be stressed out. You're gonna go. What's good? What's what's wrong? What's happening? What's what's what am I doing differently? Am I not making the right videos? All that sort of stuff. I don't even have to worry about that anymore. And that's thanks to you guys that support, especially the guys that support me on Patreon. And this is not a please sign up to Patreon video because I don't really make them. But without that, it would be I would be relying on ad revenue. And as you can see, that is pretty poor for the amount of hours that I put in. So I just want to say thank you to everybody that does support me on Patreon. Um, it's allowed me just to enjoy what I do more, treat it less of a statistical monster that I have to wrestle and treat it less of a, a business that I'm trying, desperately trying to grow and all that sort of stuff and more of a place where I'm hanging out with my mates, which is what I wanted it to begin with, which was a place where I hang out with my mates I make silly videos. We play silly game. I've, made, I've started making videos on Russian Fishing 4. 
Nobody really plays that game. And I know nobody really plays that game. And I probably wouldn't have done it if I was two years ago. I wouldn't have done it because I'd be like, okay, well, I could make a, you know, a fun um, video about what if every football team had only ginger players. You know, that sort of thing. So I think a massive thank you is in order. Thank you for letting me do what I do. And, um, yeah, that's that's pretty much it, really. I'm not going to get all soppy. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm cutting myself off before I get soppy. Um, just a, oh, a little sort of question as well for you guys, like up-and-coming stuff. I know I don't really have a schedule at the moment. I'm trying to do basically six days a week with a football manager, rotating Altrincham journeyman. Um, continuing Battletech and Jurassic World. I'm going to do a few more videos on Mushroom Fishing 4. Also, I'm definitely doing Two Point Hospital. For, for you older gamers, there's a game called Theme Hospital, which was just the old school sort of hospital management game with comedy elements, right? It's a bit of a classic. And I'm definitely playing Two Point Hospital when it comes out next month. But I was thinking, what do you guys think about me doing an old school Theme Hospital playthrough? If I can get it all working and looking all right. What about doing an old... Because I can't remember any of it. I barely remember that game. I played it 20 years ago. And I'd love to have a playthrough of that before I get into that. So let me let me know what you guys think of that and uh, any tips. Um, so there, yeah, there's the channel update. Bit bit different to normal. Normally, it's all about the numbers and the growth and the, all that blah, 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 blah. But now it's much more about just making fun content for you guys and uh, hanging out. I think one of my favorite things about Russian Fishing 4, other than it's fishing and it's fun is that we've got a chat room with a few hundred people in the game and we all hang out of an evening. So that's really, really cool. So if you want to check it out, check it out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.